गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई सुबी वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ योर क्लास फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क वाइल डूइंग योर स्टडी इन आर अर्लियर क्लासेस वी हैव डन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू आवर चैप्टर वन लार्ज नंबर्स एज वी हैव डन गेटिंग स्टार्टेड हाउ टू रीड और राइट नंबर नेम फाइंडिंग प्लेस वैल्यू प्लेस वैल्यू एंड प्लेस of any digit in any number now our today's topic is how to write any number in its expanded form and in its standard form this is our day 4 and our expanded form if we have any number like 9,7653 we need to write expanded form but how we will write expanded form If you have seen any rubber band, if we stretch it from both the sides, its form is just expanded. Now the same, but we can't do it with numbers by stretching it. So, to write any number in its expanded form, we will take the help of place values of all the digits. To write the number in its expanded form, first we will write place values. So before writing place values. we will write the place of every digit like 3 is at ones place 5 tens 6 hundreds 1000 at 7 10000 at 0 and lakhs place is given to 9 now we are going to write the place values of each digit Like three is at ones place. So what will be the place value? Three multiply with one. It is only three. Five is at tens place. So what will be the place value of five? Five multiply with ten is equals to fifty. Six is at hundreds place. So six multiply with hundred is six hundred. Seven is at thousand place. So seven multiply with thousand is seven thousand. Zero is at ten thousands place. So zero multiply with ten thousands is only zero because if we multiply any number with zero, the answer is always zero. So remember for always the place value of zero in any digit in any number is always zero. Now let's see about nine. Nine is at lakhs place. So the place value of nine is. Nine lakh. So how we will write nine lakh? Nine, two zero, and more three zeros. It is nine lakh. So let's start writing the number in its expanded form. Like let's begin from the bigger number, greater number, which is nine lakh. So let's write nine lakh. Plus the second place value, it is zero. So no need to write zero because zero does not have any value here. Let's write about the next digit and its place value, which is seven thousand. Then add six hundred plus fifty plus three. So this is the expanded form. of our given number hence expanded form is found by adding place values of all the digits i hope you have understood this topic now we are going to start our next topic which is expanded standard form expanded form we have already done now it is standard or you can also say short form let's see a number is written in its expanded form Like, let's see what is this number: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. It is two lakh. And let's see the plus: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. It is forty thousand. Plus three thousand, plus five hundred, plus six. We have to add all the numbers and write the number in its standard form. But it will take a lot of time if we will add all the numbers. Just take the number and write all the places. 
like worlds, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand lakh. Because here maximum place is given as lakh, two lakh. So I have written only till lakh. If the maximum place is still ten lakh or crore, then you can write your place till that. So it is two lakh. So I am writing two lakh as two below the lakh. Two plus forty thousand. It means four belongs to your ten thousand place. One stands hundred thousand ten thousand. So four belongs to ten thousand place. Plus three thousand. Three belongs to thousand place. Then five hundred. Five is at hundreds place. Plus six. Six belongs to only the single one, which is ones place. But what can we see here? At the tens place, there is no number. So when there is no number or no digit. What we will do? We will put a zero. Now this is our number in standard form. Finally, but there is some lack. How what? It is comma one tens hundred. First period is completed. We will put a comma thousand ten thousand. Next period is completed. We will put a comma again. So this is the standard form of our given expanded form. I hope you have understand. You have understood this concept. Now it's time for you to do the expanded form and standard form as in given questions. Time starts now. You have two minutes. After two minutes, I hope you all might have done. These are the answers related to our given questions. Now after these, we are going to give you. Your classwork and homework in the form of your PDF file. Kindly check the file and refer to the given task. So please like and subscribe my video so as to get regular notifications. Thank you.